in a way that can provoke conversation. There he is, there he is. Okay, the fifth member, the fifth member of our show is here. Now we get on. Oh, Y'all keep on continue this conversation. Oh, well, we have your topic, right, Jason? Uh, my topic might not seem as interesting. Uh, <laughs> but um. Oh, Okay, so like last week when we talked about Baskin Robbins and uh, mergers, <laughs> when we talked about mergers, mergers with mergers. We'll walk in slowly so we can do dramatic. Hold it, just hold on. What? The struggles are real. <laughs> that's what we're saying. That's our, that's our new motto for the show. The struggles are. It'd be really cool if the robot could like hold up a sign that said four guys on a couch" on that like blue thing where the controller was. That'd be that would be legit. Mm, that Definitely. would be. That would be. It'd be like an overlay that we just can't get rid of that would be cool though. Anyway, so we're talking about merging tickets. <laughs> what are we talking about this time? GMOs. Oh yeah, GMOs, right. Okay. Genetically modified organisms. Or, organisms. or I like to call them Jeff's genetically engineered food. Okay. Yeah, we learned a lot about this in Coach Hafer's class. Dude, Coach Hafer. Coach Hafer's little videos on Dude, Coach Hafer. I can't. I don't want to say anything because I don't know who's listening, but <laughs> don't eat Tyson food. <laughs> don't, don't eat Tyson, Tyson food. and don't fall through the trap of Nestle. All their water is from your tap water. <laughs> it's not all I know. That's all I remember. That's all I learned in Go Chapers class. Don't eat Tyson chicken. But um, <laughs> as far as genetically modified foods and organisms, like this fry medium could have come from a were these cookies? A mutated potato that was mutated to survive droughts or yeah. whatever. No. Or these cookies that y'all I made. would love a cookie, Henry. Thank you, Henry. I'm for buying your time here. Get off up here. Get these right here. There's, uh, well, I'm going to take the last M&M, so sorry, suckers. Can you <laughs> take, I'll take the oatmeal. You know, I, oh, like science has gotten us to a place where we could edit our food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like control all delete. Control all delete. In all ser- in all it seriousness, no, control all delete. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, well, we screwed up that corn. Let's just uh, reset the clock. <laughs> control all delete. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I need to copy this. And, and we do this in <laughs> biological organisms, and we eat these things. But as far as safety goes, well, what's your what's y'all's take? Um, I mean, as far as I go, I really don't mind eating these things. You know, I feel like they're safe. DNA doesn't kill you because if DNA killed if DNA killed you, then everything you ate would be somewhat dangerous. There are risks, yes, but at the same time, we have to um, recognize that genetically modified foods and regular foods, in when you look at their content, except they've modified to change their content, aren't that different. Yolo. <laughs> you know, so. YOLO, let's just eat GMOs. <laughs> but there is YOLO swag! <laughs> but there's also bioaccumulation. Explain what you mean. But real quick though, he's coming in. He's coming in. Get you in here. It's my luchador, Miguel. Is that your nickname? God of Sex. Luchador? Ah, that is not. Here, Jason, just scoot over close to me. I don't bite. I'm a little closer to Jason. It's all right. So I'm up here. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so we're five guys we're on the couch five now. five guys on the couch. It's we're making podcast. up last week that was three. It's a new podcast. It starts at 8-11 every day. <laughs> 8-11. There we go. Um, Miguel, we're currently talking about genetically modified food. Okay. Yeah. So um, what have you guys covered? Not like, much, because we are kind of... You know, stalling to get you. Up we discussed here. that oh, okay. Jason has oh, a, Jason's idea on GMOs is YOLO and let's eat them. Oh. <laughs> we, also, we, also, we also talk about everything we learned in Coach Hafer's class. Yes. Like, don't eat well, Tyson chicken. Or, to be fair, though, I wasn't in Coach Hafer's class. But you experienced so, the, the awesomeness of Coach Hafer's class. Not really, not really, because I, I wasn't even on his team. I'll put it that way. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, bioaccumulation is. And, your body accumulates over time. Mm-hmm. Like, like mercury. Yeah, like dolphins and mercury. And fish and mercury. But that doesn't seem to be a problem with GMOs, though. I mean... No, that's an example. That we do accumulate things as we eat them over time. Certain um, chemicals will store up in your body. And that's when I consider cancer is a strong, strongly prevalent people that have these built up on chemicals that are irrelevant to the body. Because look at this. Look at this, Jason. Mm-hmm. 
if you look at as our society has gone to where it is before there hasn't been a time where more mental illness uh, cancer and just disorders in general have been more prevalent um, this all started started trending up when we started messing with our food yep and when we started messing with chemicals so the answer to that was to mess with it more <laughs> so i mean <laughs> like really yeah. you know as we've you know modernized that modernized our society like if you look at the industrial evolution how that plumbing went that how sanitary conditions were not really found anywhere mm-hmm. and how that raised up new diseases you know with us being exposed to more and more chemicals like here's a fun fact for y'all coke has a ph of 2.4 extremely acidic i just um, had a coke with cherry in it today yeah um you know what coke does you know what you use coke for? gives me heartbreak to you, loosen bolts i use that for <laughs> yeah. i fix cars but you know <laughs> the little <laughs> 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 uh, there you go. You, you also <laughs> now I know something new. <laughs> you also use it to uh, strip pennies of all the corrosion. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's true. And baking soda also works. But, yeah. yeah. So I mean, something like that. But I mean, look at Coke too, though. The sugar in Coke that comes from corn, and corn is one of our largely uh, it's one of the crops that consume the most in America. It's Which means part of modified. It's, yeah. it's hella modified. <laughs> Are we back in the early 2000s? <laughs> hella? Hella modified. Hella modified. It, it's really modified to the point where I don't think we have an original corn out there in the market. No, unless you're an organic farmer. Unless you're a little farmer in Nebraska. Possibly. Without any Wi Fi or TV. <laughs> yeah. That with, guy. With some stuck over In which case, he cannot contact people to sell his corn. So, <laughs> <laughs> he's not, he's you know, it's good. That farmer market. Mar- that farmer market, you know, on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's one of those guys that's on the highway with the sign that says, yeah, yeah. Buy my corn. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's driving to sell his crops. And the, and the first sign he sees on the highway, five miles to civilization. <laughs> Uh, so, but I mean, when you look at it though, when you look at our food shortages and when you look at the complexities of trying to... You can get a cookie. Right there. Like, thanks. The complexities of trying to feed... <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you, Louis. So sweet. First of all, you have not tried Amish corn. Because no. It's the sweetest corn in the world. Go to Lancaster, PA. Get some Amish corn, you'll never realize I mean, how great corn came from. See, they don't use modified corn. Amish don't use modified corn. Question is now. Because it's of our society. So is it kind of safe to say <laughs> that we are what we eat? No. <laughs> yep. Fake. Pretty much. We're Bam! Fake. Truth bomb! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so let me just point out, is that like our followers right now? Yeah, those are our <laughs> followers and comments. Right, As we're alive, the struggles are real, Miguel. Did, you, did know. you know that I just found out about this being live show right now? The truth ball. So you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, struggles are real, Miguel. That's our, that's our new tagline. <laughs> Oh, for today's okay. podcast. For today's podcast, really so this, really is, really this, really is really this is officially four guys on a couch plus one. Or no, it'd be four guys on the couch. Episode two, the struggles are real. Plus, we added another guy. <laughs> because you missed one last week, right? So like, yeah, I'll make it a super long title. It's a hashtag. It's a hey, hashtag. It's a, yeah, it's a hashtag. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, thank you, Kaylee. Did we add the struggle to the group? No. Well, I think we're, I'm struggling already, so uh, I, I, there I'm it is. To, I'm supposed to be here to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> you, maybe you can rest. You know what? Side note, your nicknames, we can have a battle right now. Because I could be the guy with, in this corner, we have the Flying Dutchman <laughs> versus the German Longhorn versus the Luchador. So mine is the and two <laughs> three <laughs> <laughs> Hey, apparently Jesus is on the couch. 
And whoever the robot is, well, he's not on the couch. He's still floating up there, kicking me in the face constantly. <laughs> <laughs> are we calling that? Are the? Are you scratching my head? I can't really. It's one of the two. It's what apps? Okay. Are we? So I know. Uh, you think you wrap up on that? Um. I just think we should just have a open conversation about that, though. I mean, they are generally safe to eat. Be. Good I mean, there is a lot right. that is generally safe to eat. But I mean, when you have a gem- genetically modified chicken. Okay, now when it comes to poultry and when it comes to livestock, I have a problem with. Okay, so we, we're adding that little layer then. Yes. Yeah. So if it's to vegetables, if it's to uh, fruit, you're okay. I'm okay. But when it pertains to something like a chicken, you know, your steers. So, I mean, the only animals that we eat currently in our supermarkets that are not genetically modified are fish and sheep. Oh, well, fish, 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 fish. That's a long, that's a long shot. I'd say this though. No, um, no, no. no. But, we do not modify our fish because it doesn't mean that we can't. <laughs> That's a good one. We we can, but I'm just saying we don't because we farm them. We because it's easy to farm fish. And that's where it's I easy to modify fish as well. Fish. <laughs> no, so they, they, fish. they have giant farms. <laughs> Except for when I do. It's easier. It sucks. Apparently, I was in there. No, I'm being honest with you. They don't. They really don't genetically modify because it's it's so easy to breed a bunch of fish. So easy to modify. I can breathe. What is this? What's going on? Did we go offline? No, we're no. still online. We're still on the air. The struggles are real, guys. Can y'all see us? No, it's just the audio, remember? This is the same thing happened earlier. Uh, go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm right, sorry, guys. Back live. We just have a fifth. We just had a fifth viewer uh, come online. Woo! Well, Woo! If you can. Sh- We'll give you a shout out. Just uh, uh, leave something in the comment. We'll get to you. He's ignoring you over there. Chris, Why? Chris and Brian don't even uh, exist anymore. Oh, for a second I, I hate this uh, robot. He hates me. Unfortunately, it's become three guys in a couch again. We got. We got. Can you suck him into the controller and make him stop? No, I don't know. <laughs> this is the one flaw. We accept it because the struggles are real. Oh yeah, but I do want to point out that, like, pretty much like you said, like, most of the things are genetically modified and stuff. And it's, it's messed up, and it's not only the way, it, the things that they do, it's just the way they do it. You know, like, I, I don't know, it's like, instead of approaching it, like, okay, well, let's just modify it in, like, a certain way, like, slowly or whatever, they actually do it, like, like, they, their methods are horrible, you know? So it's pretty messed up, not not only for us, like, the humans, but as well for, like, the animals yeah. that are modified, you know? See, that's, that's just pretty that, and that's my thing with the animals, with the plants. So it's a double standard. It's not a double standard. I mean, with plants, it's cut and paste and then put in the ground, and then let the natural process of it growing on its own take place. With animals, it's just weird. Now, for for plants, and they, um, I remember the one illustration that I remember from Coach Aper's class was that like corn uh, naturally has a predator. So I don't remember exactly which was the predator they used in the, the crows. show. No, it wasn't crows. It was a small insect. Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. But that insect would eat the corn, and it would uh, it would while like it, while it was growing uh, in the sheaths or stalks or whatever they're called stalks. Uh, it would eat the corn, and then farmers would take those stalks off, and the corn would be all like corroded and eaten out. And so they would take the genetically modified corn that had natural um, pesticides. I guess pesticides, yeah to kill those insects when they attacked, mm-hmm. and the corn would stay. But without those insects, uh, like certain worms or something that could eat those insects were also dying out, and it created like a whole nother like, problems in other areas of the uh, farmer's field because of that one pesticide, instead of them just having like that mm-hmm. natural defense. And another example, well this also has to do our quality of air, but honeybees. We genetically modify plants all the time, you know, flowers to make them look beautiful, you know. Look, we modify roses to make sure they, they're the optimum pristine for us to all look at, you know, the beauty aspects of it. I mean, we got some in my backyard. I'm not gonna lie, we have some in the backyard. We got some GMOs in the backyard. We got some GMOs in that backyard. So you're talking from experience. <laughs> no, but uh, the pollen that's being created from the honey. 
isn't isn't good because honey is what bees eat and it's not good for them it's killing them off along with the fact that our air is really bad quality yep yeah we said that pollution capital of the u.s titles in uh, 2012 and 2011 for nothing all right houston yeah well we don't have that many honey bees this isn't our natural habitat but i mean then you just see it's not just one factor but it's a multiplicity it's a mul- it's multiple factors contributing to a steady decline. You know, as far as it's because of all the factors attacking at once is why it's a decline. There we go. Because they they're predicting by 2020 there's no honeybees are going to go extinct. That's, That's the current rates. By 2020. Eight yeah. years. Wow. Enjoy your honey for the next six years. years, buddy. Six years. So there's more. Oh, yeah, it's 2014. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He's destroying <laughs> your brain cells. <laughs> Dude, he's really been he's really been kicking me. It's because Four is taking the spotlight this career. And don't don't worry, don't away. worry. By in two years now we'll have developed a way to To breed honey bees. To, to clone honey. I mean pretty much it's still like they do modify it, like in some ways. I don't remember how they manipulate it, but they do. I heard about it. Uh, I don't exactly know how they do it, but they do like this process. So I mean in a way it's not really like legit, you know. Yeah. Animals have like um, <clears throat> shows like uh, food, food, food Inc. Food Inc. Yeah, yeah. Food, Inc. food Inc. was scary, but as far as other methods, that's, that's think, what we watch. That's what we watch. We watch that, and we watch Tapped, and we watch yeah. uh, Oil Rush. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Or on the subject, I'd like to uh, bring up the fact that the FDA regulations have been able to exactly catch up with technology as a law in general. The FDA is just another program by the government. It's flawed with lobbyists. That are trying to get their products through. I mean, yeah, that's all, that's all I, mean mean, I am it's very cynical hard. about the government. Honestly, I don't think they can ever get anything accomplished because yeah, they're. they're the politics, which is getting these little. Because I mean, the EPA can like barely do anything. Possible. EPA can't do anything. FDA is awful. The only people that get stuff accomplished is like the CIA and the FBI, but they use lethal well, force. If you look at who set up the EPA, you wonder why it was, you wonder why it's even set up. I mean, look at it. It's why are you forcing things up by Nixon? Why? <laughs> but I mean, if you look at it though, there's there's a lot of people, like a lot of corporations out there who still sort of hate the EPA for some reason. I mean, Mitt Romney, that was one of the big points of his campaign was to take away from the EPA regu- regulations. I think it would be better when we all just defended our own territories. We should just go to another planet. All the hippies Chris. need to come back and stop hiding. Hey, Chris, you want to go with me and find a new planet to live on? Okay. <laughs> Speaking of new planets, has anyone seen the trailer for Interstellar? Yeah. Is that the next topic? Because I haven't seen it. No, no. Um, <laughs> it's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Either. We're on the same page. Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians Guardians Galaxy, Galaxy yeah. is going to be amazing. Yeah. So are we, are we ending this topic? I'm going to end with this. Interstellar has a similar um, story to what you just, just mentioned. Yeah. Leaving the planet. Yeah. The trailer is about <clears throat> the Earth running out of food and the only solution is to leave the leave the planet, but in the meantime, look for another planet. I mean, that was basically the whole storyline behind Wally. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't so know if you've already seen the movie. No, except this, they haven't like lived in space yet, and they're not all flat, flat blobs that don't <laughs> have anything to do with <laughs> themselves. Okay. No, these are actual healthy looking people. <laughs> they're actually healthy. <laughs> <laughs> they go running up there. Who yeah. left? Who, who left Earth looking for another planet? So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, with, well, with, with, with companies like McDonald's, I wonder why they're running another planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. You cannot hide from them. You can go to any country and you'll see the. <laughs> <laughs> right. But isn't it ironic that like there's McDonald's in other countries, but apparently they seem healthier than the, the McDonald's here in the U.S. Because we're satisfied with yes. our McDonald's. Serving, serving size. We're completely satisfied with ours. All right, you don't see anyone really going up against McDonald's. They're a powerful corporation. Yeah. And they silence people. And a McDonald's. I mean, they finally changed their pink slime stuff. <laughs> pink slime stuff? Yeah, all their yeah. burgers and chicken were made from some weird Oh, yeah, yeah, slime. yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the, the monkey, right? <laughs> like they were yeah. saying monkey meat or whatever. Well, it was a myth, but you know. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wrap up this topic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>